r slash ask reddit. What's an insult that sounds like a compliment? You're much smarter than you look. Some asshole told me that once. I just said, and you're dumber than you look. That was the day I learned blondes are stereotyped to be stupid. I was about to say I get this all the time, and think it's because I'm blonde. Then I finished your sentence and was like, oh, okay, same. My grandma always says people are good and kind when they get on her nerves. They think she's a sweet old lady when she's really saying they're good for nothing and kinda stupid. I got it engraved on a mug for her. This thread has taught me that grandmas talk a lot of crap this is too good. I'm stealing your idea and having the same mug made for the day I return to the office. At least you tried your best. This one is fine if you're telling it to a kid but much more condescending to an adult. Especially if you're the one that just beat them. You're pretty for a big girl. Classic chubby girl insult but you have such a pretty face. Such a great personality and really fantastic hair. Wow. My grandma would love that outfit. I would actually enjoy being told this. For real some grandparents have great style. Being compared to my granddad means I look dapper off. One of the guys I was dating told me you share your emotions and feelings quite often. I took it as I probably talk too much about things and shouldn't, but he told me that no it's a good thing and it helps. Still made me think twice the next time I wanted to share things. Gotta preface it with a I love that. That makes me feel like you need to tack her. But to the end. In the words of the late Reverend Spooner, you are a shining wit. It's the most British insult I know. For the stid, a spoonerism is where you swap the starting sounds of two words. So shining wit becomes Cupid stunt. I mean GTA V had an entire expansion called cunning stunts. I don't care what everybody else says, I think you're pretty cool. Used to have this regular come in, and they'd often say I don't care what the bathroom wall says about you, you're alright. I'm stealing this next time I go to a bar. So like in the 30s I guess. Wow, you're so brave, or I wish I had your confidence said completely deadpan. Add an exclamation point and the vibe can be changed. I wish I had your confidence is truly the worst. My grandma used to tell us that if you ever met an ugly baby you should said wow, that is some baby. Here's a picture of my baby, isn't he cute? Oh, would you look at him? My favorite is, or oh, he looks just like you. See you later. Not if I see you first. I always thought it was just a cheesy response, but no, the implication is that if you see the other person, you bail before they see you. Wow, that phrase is so commonly used I never really thought about it that way. Mind. Blown. Lol. I always thought it was a threat. I glare when I say it. That's nice, dear. Bless your heart. Good for you. Crap I say this to everyone. Good for you. The classic, I hope your day is as pleasant as you are. This is coming from a retail worker to a full Karen. Or... I hope you have the day you deserve. I went to my friend's wedding reception and inadvertently toasted I hope the two of you get all the happiness you deserve. I realized my horrendous mistake as soon as my ass hit the chair. Friends and I do this thing where you add the word actually to an otherwise normal compliment in order to make it backhanded. E. G. Hey you're actually pretty smart. That's actually pretty funny. Hey now. Your dick is so cute. Thanks, mother. You're at the top of the bell curve. Most of them are backhanded compliments, but this is a flat out insult whose mood and words seem complimentary. It's ingenious. Top of the hierarchy, top of the world, top tier, top of the bell curve. This is the only one I'm actually saving for later. Whether this is an insult really depends on the person. It's made for pretentious people who think they're at the right end of the slope, or are but also constantly mention it. Another odd thing is you're at the bottom of the slope which either means you're exceptionally stupid or exceptionally smart. XD. Also what the heck I went from 70 to 4000 karma overnight. None of it coming from a post I actually worked hard on. My uncle used one like this on someone who was trying very hard to sound smart, but saying completely dumb crap. Your intelligence is like the missing link. 
the person took it as a compliment, not realizing he meant the evolutionary missing link between humans and apes. You've got a face for radio, and a voice for print, and the handwriting of a chicken. Your sister is beautiful and you are smart. I've heard this a lot in my life, and I'm not even that smart. Relatable, I'm the ugly sister, but I'm apparently so smart. As though my beautiful sister isn't smart as duck. She's cute and smart, and I love her. Does it have to be a competition? With all due respect, when it's clear none is due. With all due respect, sir. You're a worthless ducking piece of crap and your dad should have ducked your mom in the ass the night you were conceived. With all due respect, I feel fairly respected and criticized in equal amounts. Thank you. You talk so eloquently you speak so well towards a black person. As if we all talk, like we are from the depths of the hood. One of my friends, who is black, has been repeatedly told that they are articulate in a surprised tone of voice. Because they are shocked that a black man doing his PhD at Cambridge might use academic language. If you haven't listened to the Chris Rock line about this very thing you should check it out. It's about Colin Powell and how well he speaks. It's pretty funny. That outfit is really brave. I love how you'll just wear anything. I've had that said to me. Just tell me I look like crap beach I don't know fashion I need help. I love what you're trying to do with your hair. This one made me laugh. You look healthy where I'm from. The nice way of saying someone has gotten fat. Ha. Ah, I got your looking strong from a middle-aged woman. You know what that means. Edit. It means you look healthy, robust, like the wind won't knock you over, eating well. In other words, chunkier than I last saw you. If you've lost weight they'll ask if you're eating properly. Yeah, she wants the D. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like. And I like less than half of you half as well as I ought to serve. Has saying that he would like to know some of them better, and less than half of them deserve to be like twice as much as he likes them. It's a compliment that sounds like an insult, not vice versa. Yeah, this is just a straight up compliment. In the movie it leaves people confused while he disappears, I think. If you are in the south, bless your heart. Not always, if you've had a terrible day, and tell them why they sometimes say that, and not in a demeaning way. It's all in the tone and context. Spend enough time down south and you pick up real quick. To my friend, you have cooler friends than I do. Colon close bracket. I always tell my girlfriend I have better taste than her, because I'm dating her while she's dating me. Uh, what a chump. That's a compliment that sounds like an insult. You are impossible to underestimate. Edit. Thanks for gold. Deadshot. You can't possibly be this stupid. Deadpool. Don't underestimate me. Deadshot. Ice and TDC. You're so confident. This has got to be a kick to the nuts. Said in the right tone that must suck. Cause you know homeboy built up quite some courage. To rock those assless chaps and now Aunt Karen just drop that bomb on you at the family Christmas party. Especially if you post a picture in a swimsuit and people comment on you bravery and confidence. 